This is Lee with 82 Game of 12, and we're back with the, was it the third video? Yeah, the third video of the second Brighton Field. Uh, we've got the Swedish uh, against the Imperials, and this is part of the, the uh, Sweden Bites On um, game. That's included in the Musket and Pike Dual Pack from GMT. Game design by Ben Hull. And then, um, let's see here, we would have to go over here to, oops, block it in. Okay, right here we've got uh, Dick Volers is the developer for the new edition. And map art, Mark. Simonovich. Simonovich. I might be butchering that up. Okay, let's pull back here. All right, uh, kind of quickly here, we've got uh, two sponsors. We've got uh, Okie Dokie Dice. And uh, that's RPA, uh, RPG set for those uh, role playing gamers. But uh, can be used for um, what I'm doing. And I've got the red representing the Imperials and the purple is the um, Swedes. And I'm using Okie Dokie Dice for this game. And they're um, fairly cheap. I got, I think I got these at, uh, what is it? Uh, Barnes and Noble, I believe, is where I got uh, Okie Dokie Dice. And, uh, they were $5.99 a set. So check them out at okidokidice.com. I've got a link there uh, for the YouTube page. But uh, next we've got uh, Ultra Pro. Pull back some more. I say up. It's Ultra Pro Matte Deck Protector Sleeves. And uh, these are... Fairly cheap also, $2.99, and you get, uh, I think there's yeah, 50 in here, and I've pulled them out before um, to show you what, they, what they're what they like. Um, I need to put a deck, I've got like several games that have card sets. Um, this uh, would be good for uh, any of the... Um, uh, Uh, what am I thinking here? Um, I've got some sitting right here. D-Day series. Okay. Like D-Day Omaha, D-Day um, Peleliu, so forth. So. That would be good for them or other games like Combat Commanders got uh, cards and so forth. So uh, I showed a different company with the um, Napoleon Overruns, uh, Overruns Piedmont uh, videos. But uh, this is a different company and uh, like, uh, they've got the colored uh, back to them and you can get different colors. So great for tournament gameplay uh has smooth shuffling and it's for uh, standard cards so check those out as well let's get started here uh, happy new year and uh just a couple of things here um i was applying the advancing fire modifier minus three to calvary uh pistol shots and that shouldn't have I shouldn't have been doing that. Uh, the cavalry don't have a a minus three for advancing or retreating fire. That's not one of their options. Um, that's infantry. So when I was looking at that uh, table, okay, where that uh, is seen, okay, which is the light infantry and cavalry table, it applies to the light infantry. Okay, not to the cavalry. So 
that was my mistake. Um, that was that happened right here. I was subtracting for the for them uh, moving up and firing, and uh, shouldn't have been. So, um, and let's see if there's anything else. I guess not. Uh, there's a lot of great uh, decisions to make here in this uh, series in the combat dealing with tactics. So if you uh, look at your playbook, uh, I showed that in the last video, but I didn't really talk about it. But there's a, there's a section here that talks about game tactics and... Uh, right here and it's the textbook assault of heavy infantry versus heavy infantry and then uh you've got uh let's see it talks about uh the different steps and different options you you could use and then here we've got uh cavalry versus cavalry uh textbook approach and gives you some insight into what to do approach march and then charge using your second line, whether you reform or not, so forth. Uh, whether you go to uh, rally or make ready, so forth. So different ideas and so forth. And so you got those different options that uh, you can take a look at or just come up with your own. But uh, those t tactics uh, fall in line with the time period. Okay. Um, and let's see here. We uh, finished with uh, both center uh, wings. Um, we've got the uh, reserve here and then the reserve for the Imperials here. But it's time to go to uh, the Swedish left and the Imperial right. And much like in um, the Greek wars, Greek versus Greek, the phalanxes, uh, armies were still putting their stronger cavalry on the right. That was normally the vanguard. Uh, they would be a much larger, stronger force, the veterans. It was a position of uh, rec uh, esteem to be on the right of the line, just like in the Greek times. So same things carrying forth, you still have that. Uh, and so here we now have the Imperials might, the, the, their stronger cavalry on, he, on this north flank against the Swedish, uh, I guess, supposedly weaker. Um, Calvary. Um, one thing that uh, the Swedes have are these musketeers mixed in, and uh, they should be at the bottom, on the bottom of these, uh, not on the top. So, which means they they move slower, but they've got more firepower. So. Um, All right, so we had, um, uh, I'm trying to think if we can, well, I'll leave that for now. Um, trying to think whose turn it was. Uh, they had went and then they had went uh, because they got preempted. So it should now go back to the Swedes. It's the Swedish turn. So pretty sure um yeah it should be it's the swedish turn to go uh, and they've got charge orders um slang is the commander um conix mark here is the second command so um, uh, 
yeah, we probably want to get up here and get in a position where we can really put a lot of pressure on them, like extend our flank uh, and get our musketeers in a position so that when they charge, uh, we can shoot them um, with our, our fire at them uh, like a volley using our musketeers and uh, our uh, cavalry units. So that, I think, is what they're going to try to do. And Brue, okay, is here, but here we've got uh, Gonzaga. And uh, Gonzaga, who I need to turn here, uh, I believe he is the, he is the, uh, yeah, he's the commander, the wing commander. Brue is the replacement. So, <clears throat> so I think Gonzaga is going to try to preempt um, Slang's activation here. So before he can move, Gonzaga is going to try and there he is right there. He's going to try to preempt command and activation. So Go over here. So preemption, he's got charge orders, zero through four. His rating, which is a minus one, plus the covering, so that's minus two to the die roll. So they can basically get a six. So 60% chance of being able to preempt. I rolled a four, so that's, they, they got the activation which means um, slang here is going to be bypassed. So let's put a bypass on him. Let me find, let me find one. I guess I, I don't have all of my chips. There it is. I don't have all the chips out here. So Okay, so we put a bypassed bypassed on slang all right so that means that we're going to have uh activation here by gonzaga so let's see if we can push that down a little bit there we go <clears throat> All right, so these Croats, Croats over here are not good at combat, close combat. Um, they're going to be really useful for um, maybe riding down on formation broken or morale broken units. So, uh, what we wanna do here is we wanna take away we wanna take away these units over here that can defend against the flank on these heavy infantry units. So, um, we're going to bring these guys forward to do that.
that or we don't necessarily have to attack is is just move up okay so their uh, interception range is one two three four So we could move up to here, okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we could move up to here and then decide uh, how we're going to handle this. But these these guys here, what I want, I think, is I want to bring them around, around here. Um, four. So yeah, we can stay on this outside here. Can't really. We'd have to move around that way. So, yeah. I'm going to do that. So, that second line, I'm going to move around. So, let's see here. Um, let's see if it... What does it cost? What does it cost to pivot? What does it cost to change your front? So I have to go to the book for it. All right. Okay, here's the facing. Cavalry and light infantry, one. One movement point. Okay, so this unit here is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This unit here goes one, two, three, four, four, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And all of these guys, I'm just going to turn them, I don't have to count them out there. Okay, and then these Croat, Croats, all right, we're going to go one, two. Uh, we don't want to do that. We want to go one, two. He's still within range. One, two, two. Okay. Two, one, two. All 
All right. So <clears throat> he's going to try to continue. See if he can roll for continuation. Now, if, say, okay, so he's going to try to continue, continue charge zero to three, but he's got a minus one and a minus one for cavalry unit minus one and minus one for his leadership. So, roll to zero. So he gets to continue. But now, the Swedish general. Um, so we've got Slang here is going to try to stop him because he wants to go. So, um, so he's going to try to do a preempt on the continuation there or a preempt a pre preempt mission. So, uh, He's in charge, so it's going to be, he's going to have a minus one to the die, and he has to get a zero or four. He gets a zero. So, he now gets to go, and Gonzaga is finished. Okay. All right. So, now we can decide what we want to do, what the Swedes want to do which is they want to protect this flank over here, but they're going to have to maybe, they want to hit these croats maybe before they can do anything. Uh, get these croats here. I guess these guys can. Intercept. Now with charge orders, let's see, I think this unit here, this unit here can't stay. He's got to, he's got to move at least one hex closer like that, which this guy, he's got to, he would have had to go with somebody. Just say he went with this guy. Which is going to make... Make these guys move to get within range. Don't we'll worry about that. Worry about that. when it's necessary. All right, so these guys with charge orders, they've got to move. Um, if you got charge orders,
Let's attempt to end its activation at least one hex closer. So, when they move, that's going to cause these other guys to be able to possibly charge. One, two, intercept. One, two, three, four. Now, this guy can move. Um, so let's start here with the guys in the center. And then we can use these guys possibly then to attack. So... Musketeers. Uh, I don't know. I don't think. Let's, let's see if the leader has to be. Let's check about the leaders. I don't think they have to be with a. Um, I don't think they have to be with a stack with a with Yeah, he didn't have to be stacked. I could have him just stacked right here like that. Now, before I do that, I got to remember that I forget that over here we've got Leopold who can either uh, affect the guy that he's with, okay, or, um, and... He can remove this guy's formation. Okay. He's formation broken. So let's remove that. So he's morale shaken. He's only got one pistol. but then he can still move. Like he could move to someone else. Um, He can only affect one person. Let me go back over here. One unit. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Okay, the AC can rally or reform any unit, regardless of that unit's orders. He may also do so to a unit that is not in an activated wing. An AC may automatically reform one unit it is stacked with or adjacent to each time the AC is activated, or it can rally one unit. Okay. All right, so we took care of that. Now let's come back over here. Um, and uh, we've got um, slang. Uh, well, before we do that, I guess we could come back over here. We could go uh, do... Torstenson. Torstenson. Okay. So he's going to turn him back uh, to uh, formation uh, normal. And then he can move. Six, seven. Right there. I just moved him over there. 
for the next time. Okay, so over here, whatever Slang does, he's gonna he's going he's got to move one hex. He can then be um, intercepted. Um, but you can't intercept an interceptor. So. Um, I'm going to move this one right here first. See what happens. So we go here. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So he moves to here now. This unit there could intercept. So here's our moving unit. Here's the unit that could intercept. Now, does he want to do that? Yeah, I think it, I'm gonna try. Let's try to intercept. Okay, so we move in here a little closer. All right, so take a look at our uh, intercept rules. He's under charge orders. He's got a morale of six. So it's going to be a plus one. Uh, got a seven, becomes an eight, so no. So when it happens... Okay. Okay, so it is, that unit is marked with an interception done, okay, which means Stahlhedsack, 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 Sikke, Stahlhedsack. This unit can continue. So I need to have this. So it can move eight. So let's put this back in the. So I move two. Whoops. It moved two. Okay. So if we go back a little bit. Um, so if it goes, let's see, two. And then. Goes three, four, okay. F 
four. And then goes five. This unit, uh, when he was, what? Let's see, one, two, three, three, when he was actually here. Okay. This guy could attempt to intercept. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, front, front or flank arcs. So this guy can roll. Okay, he's got a seven. So that's, there's no subtraction here. Five, yes, he is successful. So we're gonna have one, two, three. Um, Just got to be able to turn. All right, so Seven. What's their limitations? Oh. All right, I'm just checking here about... Okay, so they can, the uh, intercepted cover can reaction fire. So that's what he's going to do. So we're going to have the, uh, oops. So this one intercepts. This one here is going to reaction fire because he comes close to him. And of course, then the other, the uh, intercepting tower can fire back. So, uh, let's get the fire chart pulled up. Okay, so both are gonna miss. Wait a minute. Yeah, they both have the strength uh, of three. So, okay, so both of them miss. So they both used a pistol. Okay. Now they do combat. And so this is the attacker. So let's flip these over. Intercepting uh, units is the attacker. Strength is three to three. 
Okay. So, um, the intercepting cover gets the momentum. Okay. Uh, okay, so we've got uh, no leaders involved. Morale differential, 8 to 7, so it's going to be a minus 1. Strength ratio, nope. Close combat, we've got, uh, let's see what we got. Okay, we have... Swedish left cavalry wing. Okay. Cursiers. Okay. And uh, the right wing is all Cursiers except for the Croats. Croats. All right. So it's going to be zero on the matrix. Okay. Defending cavalry expends a pistol shot, of course. And the tiger is going to expend a pistol shot. So right now we still have a minus one. Uh, no formation broken. Uh, let's see. Cavalry momentum is plus two. So it's going to be a plus one. Ooh, a nine is a 10. Okay, so they eliminate this, this unit. And they were just dead, damn it. Got stuck to the bottom of my foot. No, what happened to it? Oh, there it is. I dropped the counter. I hate that. Uh, all right, so that cavalry unit is gone. This unit is formation shaken. Uh, he's out of pistol shots. And let's see, defender retreat to... Oh, wait, no. Attacker must advance into the vacated hex. Check for cavalry pursuit. All right, let's see if he gets pursu if he pursues. He's under charge, so that's plus one. Plus one for using momentum. So plus two, and we got a four. to break off, so. Uh, so. He moves into that, into that hex. All right, now I think he's, he's, uh, he's not interception done. He can't intercept again. Um, So yeah, he's interception done too. All right. So, thing is, he is now vulnerable. Okay, to uh, an attack. Okay, from this unit. 
So uh, that unit can intercept. It already tried and it can't. These guys here over here, so this one here is vulnerable. So we're gonna step out here to attack. So he's moving forward to attack. And uh, as I said, he doesn't have any pistols. Plus he's his formation. Um, so, all right. So that's where he's at. I'm not going to actually have the combat yet. Um, we don't, do we want to fire pistols at him? Yeah, why not? Let's fire some pistols. Let's fire some pistols at him. Rolled a six. Oh, that's a miss. So. All right. And then this guy can do the same thing. He can ride up here. And uh, what do we want to fire pistols too? Um, yeah, why not? We'll go ahead and fire pistols again. Four is a miss. All right. Um, so this guy here, we can go one, two, one, two, this guy could actually charge this guy. He could at least attempt to charge and that's what he's going to do. So we've got Wittenberg here moving, and uh, so he's moved, well, he's got a movement of six. He's moved uh, one, two, that hex right there, and uh, A. Piccolomini is going to try to intercept, and He's got a morale of seven, so it's just straight up. He gets a four, and he can intercept. So, one, two, three. That's where he goes, right there. Now, my question is, can the Musketeers reaction fire, if the Cavalry can reaction fire, can the Musketeers who are traveling with them uh, reaction fire? Okay. Okay. It says a cavalry unit only. Okay, so only the cavalry unit could reaction fire. And um, I think they're going to wait. They're going to hold off on that. They are going to hold off on that. So, um, 
And Piccolomini is also going to hold off. No, I'll tell you what. They want to try to get a hit here, I think. Um, because that would cause a morale check, I think. Uh, yeah, let's, yeah, they're going to fire. Okay. The attacker's going to fire. Seven, that's a hit. So we've got a casualty. And that's a three-step unit. Oops, it's the wrong. So with that, they've got a check. Where did I see that at? It's back over here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, morale checks from casualties. Okay. Oh, morale. Depends on the morale. Okay, his morale is eight. Okay, so no, he doesn't. Okay, let's check about these... Integrated uh, units. Uh, only one of the units takes that inflicted casually hit. Owner's choice. So, of course. I could let the Musketeers take the hit. And I think I will. So the Musketeers are going to be hit and they're going to be gone. Okay. So Wittenberg doesn't take the hit. All right. Now he could fire back. Why not? Zero, no effect. All right, so now we have the combat. So, okay. SPs are the same, three and three. We have an eight. Of course, he gets momentum again. So we've got an eight to a seven. That's going to be a plus, no, a minus one. Uh, and everything else is going to be the same except the, the morale. I mean, the... Uh, Momentum. So it's going to be a plus one. Eight plus one is going to be a nine. That's going to be an elimination. So Wittenberg is gone. And this unit is formation broken. And he didn't, we didn't use the pistols. Um, should have. That's all right. So. So he's actually going to go right into here. Which is going to be, let's see here. Let's see if that causes, let me just dice now. Let's see if that causes um, reaction fire. Um, let's see, combat in advance. In advance no. We got to go to. Okay. Okay, triggers. Reaction. Except for units involved in the close combat causing the result. So, Wittenberg here can fire, okay, on, 
Let's see. Or he can, I guess he can reaction charge. Intercept. Uh, but I think he's just going to fire. So he's going to use a pistol shot. He's going to fire. Got a two. No effect. All right. So he's, he's interception done. And now he's going to get... Uh, let's see, what does he have here? He's got a pistol left. He can actually, I guess, return fire. But this guy here... Not going to move my leader with him. He's going to go right there. And so he's going to react like that. Um, just like that. And let's see here. These guys are going to charge one, one, two, three. He could actually now this guy, this guy's, this guy's charging. This guy's can react, and they've got musketeers, so they've moved one. Okay, and this guy has a seven, so let's have the interception. Which is straight up. He got a six, so no, he can't. Uh, no commit, no, no continue. I'm looking for no inter no interception, interception done. Okay, so he's interception done. This next guy, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, he, if he goes to there, but he's not going to go there. He's going to go one, two, three, four, right there. Now, this guy can reaction. We've got a reaction fire here. So he's going to fire. Got a three. That's a miss. So. And. He's not going to fire back yet. All right, so uh, let's see, have I done? Yeah, I already did Tordenson over there. Already made his move. Okay. I've still got these guys here and all of these. Okay. So here, we want to go, we want to attack this guy. So we go one, one, two, three, four. He acts. Okay, so this is our unit. He's going to try to interact. We've gone one. So we got another interaction or interception. Roll to zero. So he intercepts. One, two, three. All right. So, um, We can uh, we can fire. He can react and fire, and I think he will. It doesn't seem to be very beneficial um, to do that. You're going to lose your pistols, but oh, we got an eight, so that's going to be that's going to be enough to get a hit. And he's got a seven. Uh, so that's one hit. Um, of course, he has momentum. And he could fire back, or he could fire. But he's going to hold off. So I think with the, let's see, seven... Um, I think he's got to take, yeah. wish they had that in the chart. 
uh, the format the the uh, fire uh, let's see morale checks from casualty hits I don't think that's on here anywhere you got the casualty threshold table but there's nothing on here about the uh, I wish they had that on here somewhere. I mean, I think they would have had room over here uh, on this uh, Plurade chart two. Um, but we don't. So when we're looking at this morale, Seven, he's got to have two or more hits in the same combat. So that would be under artillery fire, probably. All right, so um, all right, so now we have... Uh, so that guy fired his pistols. So do we want to fire back? Why not? We got a three, that's a miss. Okay. All right, so now we have the combat between these two units. All right. Um, they're both going to use pistols. We're going to have a plus one. That's what we're going to end up with. <clears throat> the strength is the same, three and three. Morale is different. So we got a minus one for the attacker. We got momentum adds two. So it's going to be a plus one. Got a three becomes a four. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, attacker morale shaken. Attacker to retreat one hex. Defender cannot advance. Okay. So they're both going to be formation, formation shaken. He is, what do we say? Uh, we got a four attacker morale shaken. Okay, so we got morale shaken. <clears throat> He's got a retreat one X. And the defender can advance, but um, does that mean he's he's over? Uh, so if we go back to interception. After any post-interception close combat is resolved, the active player resumes the in interrupted action of the intercepted unit. Okay, but he can still continue with his um, he can still continue with his with his attack, which means he can still move to here. And he's already got both of his, fired both of his guns. So, so he could still move there. Now this unit here is going to move. We're probably going to have that guy. Uh, one, two, three, four. Go ahead. 
three, four. So when he moves to here, this guy's going to try to intercept. So he's moved uh, move this one now. All right. Thing about the you know with the cavalry uh, wings, uh, you, of course you got this interception inter interrupting your your flow, so you've got to you know. Uh, it's got a six though, so morale of six. That's going to add a plus one. I rolled a nine, becomes a ten, so he is interception done. Now this other guy here, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, he goes to here, he can try to intercept. And he's got a seven, so he's got a better opportunity. Nope, he rolled a nine, so he's done. He can't inter inter intercept anymore. Now they can react. Um, so we want to take advantage of those guys. This guy... Slang is going to go right there. Join that. Uh, we're going to go. This guy's going to go here. And the Croat. Does he want to try to intercept or not? Yeah, he's got to have the momentum with him. He's going to have to have the momentum. Um, so. He moved one. So, here he's going to try to intercept. He's got a six, so it's going to be add one. Oh, I got a two, so he can intercept. One, two, three. And he's going to have momentum. Uh, we can... Reaction fire. Ah, uh, yeah, why not? Try to try to get a hit. Nope. Uh, the croats are going to hang on to their their fire. All right, so what we have is we've got an attack now. Uh, three against three. Uh, we're going to be even on uh, morale. Uh, he's going to fire uh, pistol shots. Which means now he's got to fire pistol shots. So it's still even. Get momentum is plus two, but Croats on the matrix combat matrix um is gonna be uh, a minus two so it's just gonna be straight up even oh we'll go to seven okay so defender morale broken defender retreat two hexes Okay. All right. So, first off, their formation sh shook. Okay. Yeah, I got a. 
I gotta clip that off. That that ain't gonna work. These are some small counters. All right, so formation and they're broken. Defender morale broken. Okay. Um, they've got to retreat two hexes. And he's got to advance. And when he advances, of course, He's going to be fired upon by the musketeers and the cavalry unit. So there's there's two fire combats going on there. Okay. You get plus one for every SP. There's only one greater than one. All right, so, and then the cavalry are going to fire, too. Okay. Oh, they both missed. Musketeers didn't do us much good. Um, okay, now this unit goes one, this guy is going to try to intercept, plus one is three, uh, he's going to be able to intercept, so one, two, Three gives him momentum. Uh, reaction fire. Zero. Miss. He's going to hold off. All right. So, yeah, we moved uh, one. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Strength wise. Well, let's just follow the, the order they have here under close combat. Okay. No, no leaders. Morale differential. So it's seven to six. So that's a minus one. Strength ratio, 
four to three. That's not enough. That's not two to one. Uh, close combat. Okay. That's minus two. Croate versus the Cursier. So now we're looking at minus three. Um, they're both going to fire pistol shots. The momentum. Uh, so... It's going to be minus one. One becomes a zero. Attacker's eliminated. So he's gone. Um, of course, these guys are now formation, formation shaken. They advance into the hex. Which now they've moved to... And they can continue. Oh, I got to check for cavalry pursuit first. Um, okay. Uh, so plus one a charge order. They didn't use momentum. Uh, pursuing cavalry that is unformed plus two. So that's plus three. Oh, what's going to be pursue off map and eliminate. So um, the, ca the cavalry unit. He's off map now. He's in the pursuit box. And the musketeer is left alone. Right there. Um, so. That's where we're at. Alright, so now we're going to do uh, oh no, right here. I got these guys. Okay. Conix mark here. Um, they're going to move up here to attack. This guy's interception done. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's see. Where was I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. She didn't. You can't do anything. Seven, eight, and then this one here. One, two, three. He just goes to there. Now, does he have any pistols? Yep. So he could fire a pistol shot, or he could wait, and I think he'll wait. This guy could fire a pistol shot, and I think he will. This guy. Firing at that guy. So, two is a miss. So, okay, he's already used his pistol. All right, now we go into the regular combat here and let's start uh, we're going to start here first uh, against this here okay so let's take this off okay he's already formation he has no pistols and he's already formation uh, shaken okay these guys this guy's got a pistol left that guy didn't have any all right, so we're going to have uh, no leaders involved. Morale differential is going to be a minus one, no, a plus one, because they're attacking. Strength ratio, we've got six against three. That's two to one. Um, so that's, we're at plus two. Close combat matrix is zero. Defending unit doesn't have any pistols. Uh, each attacking, he can fire a pistol. So that's now we're at uh, plus three. Okay. He's formation shaken. 
Now oh, that's the attacker, a defender. So that's plus one. Okay, it's going to be plus four. Uh, two becomes six. Defender morale shaken. Uh, he's going to be formation broken, morale shaken. And he's got to retreat to Hexus. Okay, uh, he's not, see, he's not, he can't retreat. Um, well, see, one, and here and here is not two. Okay, well, I guess it is. This would be one, two. One, one, no. He's retreating two hexes. He should be three hexes away, right? One, two, three. Yeah. And he can't do that. So, unable to retreat. Okay. He's not, he's not morale broken. Okay, so if it's morale shaken at the start of the retreat, I cannot retreat. It suffers a cashy point for each hex it is unable to retreat. So that unit takes a casually hit. Okay. So that's what happens to him. And he's, of course, he's morale broken now. I mean, uh, he's formation broken and morale shaken. And we have the, let's see, Defender. Okay. And advance, uh, the attacker advances. So one of these two guys can advance. They're going to be formation shaken. Both of them. So only one of them can move in there. Have that guy move in. Okay, so we're done with that one. Let's go here now. All right. So um, let's remove this. Okay. So we've got, uh, I'm not going to need this. Oops. Not anymore. This is the end of the, well, he could. Get a continuation, so, but that would be a different activation. All right, so let's take a look at this one. Let's see if he's got any pistols left. Yeah, he's got one pistol left, one shot left. All right, so no leaders, morale differential. We've got six against seven, so that's going to be a Minus one. Strength ratio, we've got seven against three. That's two to one, so it's at zero. Close combat matrix, zero. Matrix, defending cover expends a pistol shot. That's a minus one. 
and then both of the both of these units expend pistol shots. And I don't know, I didn't put momentum here. Um, I know this guy's got momentum. And should have had momentum here. Uh, I don't think, I don't know about those guys though. Um, so, uh, we got a plus, let's see. Yeah, we got a plus one so far. Um, not attacked in the rank. Okay, he is formate attacker. Uh, okay, defender is formation shaken, so that's a plus. So we got a plus two. Plus two on this one. Six becomes eight. Okay, so defender is morale broken. Okay. these of these uh combination markers that also they had the pistols to the different things going on so okay he's morale broken find which, which one I want to use. Okay. Six becomes seven. Okay, so defender is morale broken and formation broken. Where's that at? Shouldn't have to put two of these down. I know what's in here. There we go. We'll just do it that way. Okay, so six becomes seven. He's got to retreat two hexes. So he goes back to there. Um, these guys both turn over. We're gonna put that guy up there. And then we're going to that, that battle, that fight. Okay, interception done. All right. So there, um, of course, he's going to fire a pistol. He's going to fire his second pistol. Uh, morale difference is going to be uh, plus two, um, three to four, that's round up, so I guess that's going to be one to two, so it's going to be plus one, um, <clears throat> plus one, what else do we have? It might just be plus one. He would have had momentum. Mm. Yeah, that would have been momentum. So it's going to be <clears throat> plus three. Nine, 
Oh, more than nine, but okay, so he's eliminated. So these guys are both formation shooken. Gonna turn like that. That heavy infantry. I don't believe. Let's see, I don't think that heavy infantry can react out of his flank. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, each hex of a 2x unit can only fire into hexes adjacent itself. Okay, so it can fire. So, okay. So, this unit here can fire at this unit here. Oh, he don't have any pistols yet, did he? Yeah. All right, so... That's one of those... integrated regimental artillery. Okay. So he's firing into a flank hex. Um... Okay, reaction fiber is moving cavalry, so that's minus one. Uh, I don't think he can do salvo. Can he do? Maybe he can do salvo. Let's see here. Oh, well, only in the frontal axis. Okay, so we got a minus one. Oh, we got a nine. Okay, in the flank. That's going to be two hits plus a formation hit. Okay. Two hits plus a formation hit. So... Um, musketeers, they're gone. Uh, the, that unit takes a formation hit. Plus, uh, this formation broken. Okay. Now, he's got a morale of what? Eight? Okay, so didn't have to check that. Um, so, he could actually reaction fire back. Um, You don't want to waste it. Oh, um, yeah. All right. That wasn't too good. All right. Let's see what else we got here. 
I've got to keep, keep going here. All right, so now we've got uh, this attack against this guy. All right, so he's morale shaken. Um, casually hit. He's got no pistols. All right. So we've got a leader. Uh, he's got no pistols. Okay. So here we go. Uh, plus one for, or minus one for any attacking, defending leader. Okay, so they get a plus one because slang is with them. Morale differential. He's got a seven, got uh, we got an eight. That'd be a plus one. So it would be a plus two. Strength ratio. We're at uh, six against three. That's two to one. So that's plus three. Momentum. Plus five. I don't need the pistol shots. Attackers formation shaken. So we're back to plus four. But the defender is formation shaken. So, all right, so we're gonna be at plus four on this one. Eight. Okay, he's gonna be eliminated. And I guess you have any kind of conflict. I guess you have to roll. Let's see uh, where the leader, leader casually is right here. Uh, no, let me just look. Might just be. Uh, okay, leader casually. Okay, if leader's in a hex that is fired on with any result other than miss, roll one dice. Okay. What about with a close combat? 11.8. Yeah, you gotta roll. Can they take him out? Nope. So leader's okay. All right, so he's going to go to formation broken. This guy goes to formation. And he can advance. Um, all right, so now we go here. This guy is interception done. Let's take these off. Um, he's got a pistol shot left. Conisberg. All right, of course, he's going to fire his pistols. Guys are going to have to fire theirs, I think. All right. Okay, we'll walk through this. Okay, so we get a plus one for the leader being there. Morale differential, seven is seven. Nothing there. Strength ratio, we got four against four. That's the same. Close combat matrix, they're both cursiers. Cursiers. <clears throat> they're both fire pistols. That's even. 
Nobody is uh, formation broken or anything like that. We got momentum. So we're going to have a plus three on the die roll. Becomes a seven. So defender is going to be morale broken. Uh, he's morale broken. And retreat two. So he goes to there. Um, he's going to advance. Got to roll for the leader. Oh, we got a nine. So, backup leader. Probably shouldn't be on the board, but he's removed from play. Um, momentum's gone. One pistol used. Um, okay, yeah. Um, so what I do, I rolled up six. The deal. But, no, I didn't do that. What did I roll? Okay, he's morale broken. <clears throat> Attacker must advance, and then we got to roll for pursuit. Okay, charge, momentum, plus two, so we got a plus two. Ten, so yeah, he's off the map. And the last one, right down here. Get rid of that. Okay. Don't, don't think we really had any momentum. I think, well, that would have been two. Should have been momentum. Uh, yeah. All right, okay, so here we go again. We've got uh, no leaders. Morale differential, it's gonna be a plus one. Strength is the same. Close combat matrix, that's gonna be a minus two because that's Croats. Well, no, a plus two because he's defending. So that's plus three. Okay, momentum gets us, we might as well use this. Uh, he don't have to use his pistols because um, it's still going to be four uh, because he's uh, formation shaken. So it's going to be plus four. Uh, one plus four is five. Okay, defender morale shaken. So formation shaken. He's got to retreat one hex. So he goes to there. Um, he's really supposed to go to here. Which means the musketeers can fire on him. The attacker can't advance. So let's have the musketeer fire. Which is reaction fire. Uh, minus one because um, oh, that's over here. Light infantry, I guess, don't have that. Minus one. Zero was a miss. All right. I 
I've got a turnover. I've got a turnover. Okay, so we pull back, um, and now we got quite a mess here uh, on this side, but really, uh, no, I can still, well, I can still continue. Um, I had uh, Tortenson move over there. Um, I can try continuation. Nobody's stopping me. So he has a charge. So zero to three, leadership rating is zero. Coward wing, though, so he gets a minus one. Six minus one is a five. So no, he didn't didn't pass. All right, so that's going to be it for the turn. So finally made our way through a turn. Now I've got to do all of the uh, administrative work here to to uh, take care of everybody, move everybody. So. All right, so we look here uh, with this wing we just finished. Uh, you've got all these fresh uh, cavalry units here. Uh, that's going to cause a problem for um, slaying. Okay, especially when they make their move around here, they can work their way around and you know bring uh, Gonzaga over here with them, and uh, they can work around here behind. Uh, the heavy infantry. Oh, no, I'm not done. I've got uh, this uh, unit here back ready and the uh, back ready unit back there. So I'll have to pick up with that uh, in the next video. Uh, I guess I could just, they're just going to be moving really. I don't think they're, they're not in a position to do anything else, I don't think. Um, so that would be, so they just moved it, would be back over to uh, Piccolomi, back over here uh, to move. Uh, Carl Gustav could actually try to preempt, uh, but what difference does that do? Does he need to preempt? I don't think so. With make ready. Uh, you know, it may move, but may not move adjacent. Uh, it's wing commander may perform a reform action on it, but not a rally action. Like there's nobody needing a, a reform. Um, so got some cavalry units. So basically, they can move uh, to position themselves to protect the flank from any oncoming. But uh, that's Gustav. We got uh, Piccolomi over here um, who could be getting a position to attack uh, uh, some of these units over here. They got make ready. Why has this guy got make ready? Oh. Yeah, he preempted trying to change his, trying to change his. So Piccolomi could, I think Piccolomi is going to try to change his orders. So he's 
you've got make ready. Make ready to charge is uh, rating minus two. Cavalry wing, well, he's a, uh, he's got cavalry in it. So I guess it gets the minus there too. So uh, to go to charge, he's got minus two, minus three. So minus three to get to charge. Five become, yeah, he, he gets to charge, he goes to charge. Oops. There it is. All right, so they go to charge. Order. Why does he want to go to charge? Because he wants to try to hit some of these units over here. So, what is this, what is that string going through there? Let's see, what does that cost? I think it's a formation hit. Uh, string. Cavalry costs three and a formation hit. Uh, what's the woods cost? Yeah, it's a formation hit too. All right, so we go one. Okay, it's gonna cost how much? Three? String? Yeah, three. <clears throat> so one. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. So, one, three, that's five, six, seven, and then eight. What is this unit? Oh, he's right there. What's this? Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. He goes to there. Now he can. He can try to continue. Oh, uh, Leopold. I want to get him. So he's going to uh, make this unit only. Uh, Ralph Shaken and then he's going to go to here and uh, Piccolomi is going to try to continue Continuation. All right, he's got charge orders. Um, he's not a cat. He's a reserve. I don't know if I call that because uh, I call it okay. So minus two, minus three, seven becomes four. No, doesn't get the continuation. So he's done. Flip him over. 
Okay, then we come down to Carl Gustav. And we also have uh, Tortenson over here, who's going to, let's see. He's morale shaken, but his formation is back. So he's going to stay there. Over here, what do we want to do? Um, these guys only have a movement of four. So... They're going to move this way. So, one, two. Three, four. One, two. Three, four. Of course, he's going to move like that. Um, one, two, three, four. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there it make ready all right so now he's going to try to continue he's not a cavalry wing but minus two because he's gustav gustav has a minus two um he's make ready he's got to get a zero or two he's got what is it four Oh, so he got he continues. All right, so he gets to continue. So over here, he's going to remove that and then move to here. Okay, down here where Gustav's at. We've got one, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two. Okay, now he's going to try to continue again, but he gets a plus one, plus one. Got an eight, he's finished. All right, so now everybody's finished. Now I can take this and take, take a look over here overhead okay what's going on um still have a lot of fresh units for um the swedish contingent compared to the imperials charge has got to come back up here um the center still looks pretty even and over here um, it looks like with these units here still fresh um, they make their way around here um, things are going to get dicey for the Swedish the Swedes 
which most of them aren't Swedes. They're mercenaries, a lot of Germans, so forth. Okay, and then over here on the uh, this track here, those two units. Uh, the Swedes have lost two commanders. One of them was a backup commander. Probably shouldn't have had him on the map. But he was there. So, let's see. Three, four cavalry units in a heavy infantry. One, two, three, three, four cavalry units, and three musketeers. But this is the big loss here, the two leaders um, that are there. So, and that's just the first turn. So. All right. So that's the end of this video. Happy New Year. I appreciate the support. And I hope you're enjoying the, this uh, this series over Musket and Pike, Sweden Fights On. Come back and see how things turn out.